Hello, uh, welcome to the class uh, of the robot motion planning and application. I'm Song Yi-Yun at the uh, uh, KAIST. So before we talk about uh, uh, this course topic, I'd like to talk about uh, myself first. I'm mainly working on large-scale problems uh, related to the motion planning and computer graphics also recognition. So some of the paper and video will be available with those links. And then here are some of the uh, images uh, that are related to the uh, activity, research activity of the motion planning. I'm mainly working on three main topics, uh, the photorealistic render in computer graphics, also the image search and many other computer vision problems. Also, the, I'm also uh, actually working on the uh, motion planning for, uh, in the field of robotics. In this class, I will talk about uh, the, some of the uh, uh, important concepts of the motion planning. Also, I have done some of the uh, uh, tutorial workshop uh, in some of the robot, uh, robotics related international conference. Also, I got some of the recognition from the outside. And these are some of the, uh, 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 also I, I got some of the best paper awards related to the robotics. So I wish that I have the, some of uh, enough materials and uh, experience to talk about this motion planning to excellent students like you. So these are the, the main information about uh, uh, myself, and I'm at the uh, I'm at the CS building. So if you wanted to, if you want to meet the, uh, 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 if you want to have physical meeting with me, you can come to here. These are the, actually the class time, uh, but the, uh, we, uh, due to the Corona, uh, the, uh, due to the COVID nineteen, so we will have online lecture uh, uh, through the this midterm exam. So the, uh, the, uh, this is our TA, uh, uh, Hee Chan Shin. So he's the uh, PhD student working on the Tina Dynamic comfort, uh, Comfortable Trajectory. So if you have any question about course and homework, you can actually the, you can use the KLMS board for communication with him. He's actually located the, uh, E3, uh, uh, in this location at the CS building. As you know, there are many real, uh, real world robots like uh, these kind of uh, vacuum machines and toy robot and then uh, this also, also this medical surgery robot and as you know, there are lots of the things going on on the autonomous vehicle. And also the KAIS actually has just some of the uh, notable uh, recognitions. As you know, this Hubo robot, the Humo, the Hubo, the uh, humanoid robot, won the DRC final uh, competition uh, at the 2016. Also, there, uh, right now actually there are a lot of research going on on the design of autonomous vehicle and innovate autonomous vehicle actually robot using the, a lot of these recognition systems. As I mentioned, that this robot uh, also there uh, a lot of uh, 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 we can also use the medical uh, medical robot for very accurate surgery, and also the one can buy the very uh, some, uh, kind of toy side the human robot in a uh, reasonably uh, cheap money uh, uh, out of the, our research funding. Uh, and actually, this is uh, uh, one of the uh, uh, cheap robot also we, uh, uh, why we can do the uh, some of the basic stuff for the. Uh, 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 robotics and in addition to the real robot there are many of these virtual uh, uh, virtual character that uh, come to be the sum of motion capability as you know actually if we uh, I guess you know these games also there are many of these there are 2d agent that also we can they are doing the autonomous leader find the path from here to there and in the computer graphics there are many of these virtual character and then obviously to manually create this kind of animation, many age is very tedious. It takes a lot of time, so it's difficult using some sort of motion planning, some of the algorithm, and also we can scale up to handle the, a lot of these kinds of the, uh, virtual character. So in this class, uh, basically, the, we will we will talk about the uh, autonomous agent, a robot that sense and plan and act in real or the virtual world. And uh, basically, there we will talk about algorithms and systems for representing uh, uh, the world, of capturing, planning, controlling, and also some of the, the rendering of the motions of physical objects. There are many the applications related to this concept, manufacturing and handling mobile robots, and so on. Uh, so basically, the main goal of the motion planning is that we want to compute the, some of the motion strategy. Sometimes in a simple setting, you want to compute the uh, motion. Uh, we want to compute the path, the geometric path uh, that connected from here to there. Also, that we can want it to have some sort of uh, time parameterized trajectory or the, the a sequence of sensor-based motion commands. So these are the different uh, different motion strategy. 
But uh, at high level, we want to achieve the this goal out of this motion technique. Say, go to A without colliding with obstacles, assemble product, or the build a map or environment, and so on. So the, uh, as concept, uh, at, at, uh, in a simple setting, actually, the, here actually I'm showing the example of simple rigid robot. This actually the this kind of the uh, uh, rectangular shaped robot, this obstacle. Here we are moving this rectangular shaped robot from here to there. And this was a piano mover problem. We want to move this piano uh, by finding uh, by finding paths uh, uh, from here to there. Also, the, I know there, uh, some of you may heard about this alpha quadrant. I mean, the, if you actually try it out, uh, this decouple this two to one, it, it may take some time. But once you figure it out, the one, it, it, you can do that quite easily. Also, this the, here actually very simple setting of the uh, articulate robot. Here actually, there are some of the simple virtual robot and with the two joints, we are moving from here to there. So there are actually there are a lot of extensions to the, this, uh, the basic problem that I talked about here. We can also consider multiple robots. Also we can actually the design, uh, we can also the move the robot out to acquire information uh, by sensing the model and, and, and so on. So I hope that we can talk about some of the, those problems. And also there are many applications like the we can do the, uh, we can apply this concept for the manufacturing by doing some sort of raw programming, raw placement, and so on. And actually, this is actually an example of assembly planning. So the, we want to assemble different parts of the model to build the sum of the more bigger parts. And also, the, we can use some sort of virtual robot to check the, this building code, access code, and so on. And, and it, the basically in some of the, the uh, large scale, the man-made architecture or the, uh, the device, there are a lot of actually the, these cables and pipes. And then it's very, it's very difficult to design, to lay out, uh, lay out them in the building and so on. So actually we can also think about some sort of automatic way of doing that. Also that's sort of related to motion planning. And also I, I briefly mentioned that the human or robot and also, the, when you watch the, the, the movie, actually, the, we are using a lot of digital actors. So basically, the, to move around, to actually animate this one, we are using some type of the motion plan. And also, the, I mentioned that we are also using the uh, medical robot to perform the, this the very accurate the, uh, surgery. Also, the, uh, uh, the, uh, surprisingly, also, the, uh, some of the, data, the research field that uh, doing the in some sort of the uh, uh, bio analysis by doing the this molecular interaction based on the motion planning, and so the long term over actually we also had a, a DARPA grand challenge that actually the uh, passing through the this desert with the this a lot of sensors uh, at uh, to do the this alternate vehicle. Nowadays actually they're now it becomes sort of one of the commercial uh, actually they are pushing the this actually design commercial product. And also the, the uh, robotic challenge, the DARPA robotic challenge. And recently, actually, there also the another challenge, the subterranean challenge. So basically, the uh, once we place the robot under the under the ground, actually, it's very difficult to the uh, sensor or uh, uh, environment and, and other ones. So it poses a lot of challenge. Actually, so actually, there are a lot of research going on to address the uh, uh, this problem. Also, the I talked about this. this one. Now I'd like to talk about some of the prerequisites to take the discourse. I uh, I wish that you had actually some of the primary skills, also basic understanding of probability and geometric concepts like event, expected value, and also the uh, you need to have some prior exposure experience to the robotics problems and application and hardware. So this is a research oriented course. So you need to do some sort of the project, and then I assume that you had to have a certain uh, prior uh, prior experience. If you didn't take through any prior courses, a course related to this robotics, this course may be the inappropriate, inappropriate for, you, for you. If you're unclear, please, uh, please let me know. So these are the main topics. Underlying geometry. We will talk about underlying geometric concept of the motion planning. So, and then we'll move on to some of classical motion planning techniques, like the complete motion planning and randomized technique. And then we'll move on to sampling, uh, sampling based or optimizing based approaches. So I will also the briefly touch on the recent learning based one. So the basically this course is about the motion planning algorithm, not the control of the low, uh, low level this real robot. So these are actually uh, general uh, class structure. 
I will give the, uh, the basically half of lecture will be given by me, so that I will give the lecture before the midterm exam. After midterm exam, you need to present the paper, also the, uh, perform the project, and then uh, share that project with us. So again, this is a research-oriented course, and what you need to do is that you need to choose the paper that are interesting to you, and present them to us, and propose ideas that can improve the state-of-the-art techniques. So implementation is not really, uh, it's not required, but actually there uh, uh, a lot of cases actually they are uh, doing some sort of their uh, implementation. And there is some key gen, uh, midterm exam, but much more important is that uh, I wish that you can, have, uh, you can have some sort of fun. And I will pick their best speaker and best project, and then I, I hope that I can actually have lunch or dinner uh, uh, with our D. And also high grade will be given to the members of those uh, that best project. So this is actually writing policy, class, class presentation. So I mentioned that you, to, you need to present the paper and pro, uh, uh, the paper, uh, also there is this uh, project, uh, project presentation. So the 30% of the class presentation and quiz assignment and midterm exam, uh, midterm 30%. And the final project actually takes, the project presentation actually takes the 40%. Also for the paper and project presentation, I'm not the only one who evaluate your talk. So basically, I take the 50%, or the, all the other, your fellow students will take the another 50%. So basically, they will do this uh, uh, peer, uh, peer evaluation. So, so there are some homeworks. Uh, then uh, we, will adopt, we will follow this late policy. It means that uh, it actually, if you submit something uh, late, uh, uh, later than the deadline, there will be no score. It means, it means that basically, uh, I, you need to submit your work before the deadline. Also, there are... Uh, uh, it's already difficult for us to, uh, 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 to govern uh, this one since this is really the uh, online course. But actually, the, the generally, if you lay two times, uh, and I will consider the one absence, and then if you, if you the, uh, every two absence, I will lower, the, uh, lower down your grade. For example, if you got the A minor, and then you, if you absent two times, in other words, if you didn't watch the video two times, I will lower down the uh, A minor to the B plus, something like that. This actually textbook, the planning algorithm. Fortunately, this book is available at the web uh, uh, freely. Also, I'm actually working on the writing down the, my own draft. It's not very really well, uh, well established, but there, once it's ready, I will share the, the, uh, the document with you. Also, there, uh, you, need, you can find the many technical papers uh, related to the, this the, uh, motion planning at the ICRA, IROS, RSS, and CORN, and also the many other these machine learning techniques. Also, there are a lot of these motion planning, some of the, uh, uh, a lot of motion planning techniques also they're, uh, they're based on the mo uh, machine learning, they're also the deep learning, so you can also check out those papers. There are many other related conferences, the Vision Conference, CFPI, ICCV, and Graphics, and also you can find many other the papers and techniques here. Uh, this honor code, class uh, uh, honor code, so basically I would strongly recommend you to the uh, collaboration. But when you do the, your homework, you are the, uh, you need to do the, uh, you need to do the, you need to do the, uh, uh, you need to do the assignment by yourself. So also the, uh, if you actually the use the someone someone else code, you need to cite and you need to act the uh, those work. This general uh, classroom uh, etiquette. This also the schedule of our course and this official language in the class is English, but there are uh, uh, if you actually the wanted to. Uh, sometimes you can ask the, the, the question on, on Korean, but also the, uh, I, I will actually the, make sure that I will uh, give the, this uh, English-based uh, 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 English summarization of those ones. So my general wish for, the, uh, for you is, uh, in this class, I hope that you can follow the, all the lecture materials and the, do the various class activity and homework. And hopefully the, these activities lead, uh, lead you to the next publication or the, some of the uh, startup related to the robotics. These are actually homework for uh, uh, virtual every week. You need to browse two top tier conference or journal paper and basically the, uh, go over them and then you need to browse those. Uh, you need to prepare two summary and submit them uh, uh, through the online uh, for the Tuesday class. And then basically the submission, web, submission link will be available on the course web uh, homepage. Also, the, the, that, uh, also you can do the, uh, that link is actually here. And then just one or two paragraphs is okay. You can write down English and Korean, something like that. And another one is that the, uh, before you watch the, uh, this uh, YouTube video, I recommend you to the, go over the uh, lecture slide. So that way you can also the, uh, uh, you can adjust yourself to this uh, material. 
Also I wish that you can come up with the one question on what we have discussed today and submit it at the end of class. And then you can actually submit the question through the this online uh, online link. But actually, usually the, you will get the this uh, you will get the also I will go over them. Also I will share some of the interesting question with you. Usually I will also the uh, I will, I will give you the score one to, uh, to most of the question. But the, if I actually the encounter very interesting question, I give you the uh, uh, the score of two. So uh, basically, the, uh, don't worry about it. To get, get the, the high score, basically I give the this the this score one of two to encourage you to get the uh, more interesting question. And also, the, I will go over the, all, all those questions and I will I identify common question and some I actually address them at the Q and A file, which is the link will be the link to the this homepage, and some of the question will be directly discussed in the class. And if you want to know the answer of your questions, ask, uh, you can actually write down the, this KLMS article over there. So basically why I'm asking the, this question, uh, uh, even though I, I, I may not answer to them actually. So we are focusing on having a good questions uh, uh, in, in this class. Basically I know that you are all of us actually they're very well trained for answering questions. So I think that much more important uh, activity for you is to trying to come up with a very interesting question. Uh, which maybe the uh, guide you to lead to uh, guide you to come up with the uh, uh, novel idea later on. This homework, so I recommend you to the go over chapter one of our textbook. I mentioned that textbook is the this one. And the next time I will talk about some of the basic components of the motion planning. So, uh, so far I talked about the uh, myself also the lecture material. Now I'd like to know more about you. So why don't you write down your name and your major and your prior experience and your plan of uh, taking this course through the credit of audit. You can write down those ones uh, by clicking the this link. Yeah, that's it. See you next time. Bye.